Hello, hello, my AP Chemistry friends. This is Mr. Folly, and welcome to the last part of this grouping of bonding. So we're going to talk about covalently bonded molecules. So covalently bonded molecules, we're talking about forming a molecule that has a beginning and an end. So examples that I'll draw right here are H2O. So H2O would be, ah, H2O, again, we're talking about nonmetals, would be like HOH or NH3, which would be NHHH, -H -H, or C2H3 even, C2, oh, C2H3, how the heck is that? That's got to be C2H6, sorry, C2H6, H, H, H. But what you can do to help identify them as molecules is if you draw like a circle around them, you can kind of see their shape just a little bit. It's like a little mitten. Oh. But then if you see something like this, this doesn't really have that same kind of repeating shape. So that's not going to be a molecule. All right. So covalent bonded molecules, again, directional covalent bond. They're the weakest type of bond because they are the smallest and have the fewest Qs. All right. Fewest Qs meaning um, no full positive, no full negative. And it shouldn't say fewest. It should say smallest. But it's going to have the smallest Qs or the fewest cues. They never conduct electricity. Remember, conductivity is a flow of ions. Um, polar covalent dissolves in water. Nonpolar does not. So um, polar things have one end that is a little bit negative. Remember, we did a little bit of the delta negative, and delta positive, and delta positive, and delta negative for each bond. And you can see that this would be the negative region, and this would have two separate positive regions, or a positive region that would even out right here. So. It's debatable over whether they even out or not when we get to AP chemistry, but that's okay. Um, lowest melting point and boiling point. Um, and the strength of these particles is based, one, on polarity. Polarity, remember, is your Q for partial charges. Farther apart. equals bigger Q because what that is is a bigger electronegativity difference. It's bigger. Okay. And the other thing is size. So you can look at periodic trends for the size. Network covalent molecules. That's like this guy right here. Ooh, let's see. Can I change my color just to be different because I'm in a different time? Yeah, I think I did. I did. So carbon or silicon with four beautifully spread out covalent bonds. BN is also a network. Um, perhaps binary compounds of two nonmetals. This is the perhaps thing. This is what it says in the official what can be on chemistry thing, on what can be on the chemistry test. So perhaps binary compounds of two nonmetals, but you should be able to tell I misspelled quartz. That's embarrassing. Quartz is Q-R-T-Z, not like two quarts of milk. Um, these are the strongest bonds, as shown by very high melting point and boiling point. They're very strong, very hard to break. They never conduct, so again, we have no ions. And here is the last thing I kind of went with. So conductivity, ionic compounds, remember it's made out of positives and negatives. Lattice points are positives and negatives for a solid, right? So it conducts as a liquid and a solid. So this is conducting electricity. Electricity, electricity. Um, polar covalent, so notice how I split these apart. Polar covalent and non-polar covalent um, really are just covalent and they're divisions inside of each other. Uh, metallic conducts as a solid and liquid. As a note, um, metallic gases are not in this class. Are not in this class, so frowny face. Okay. Um, so polar covalent will never conduct no ions. Non-polar covalent, no ions. Network covalent, no ions. And these conduct as liquid and solids because that's when ions can flow. Melting point, boiling point is high. Um, high, it's like, oh, what do you mean by high? Remember, these are just going to be comparing each other. So high is probably um, over 250. Same thing for this, over two. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, over 250. Low and very low might be negative something. All right. 
I put something. Right? Uh, solubility. Yes, ionic compounds can dissolve, but you have to check the solubility rules. It's not all of them. Metallic, do not dissolve. Polar covalent, yes. Non-polar covalent, no. Network covalent, no. So remember, um, solubility is because water, we're talking about in water, water has a negative end and a positive end. And if you don't have a negative or a positive end of water to fall in love with, it cannot fall in love with you. So lattice points, metals are metal cations. Not metal atoms, but they're metal cations. Polar covalent, all the other ones are molecules, molecules, and this is an atom. So only the polar and nonpolar covalent um, make molecules. Bonds in the structure, they're called ionic bonds. Metallic is non-directional covalent bonds, directional covalent bonds, directional covalent bonds, and strong directional covalent bonds. And that's it. We're out of here. Two, two, two.